Okay, um, Mick, can you, once again, sorry, uh, spell and pronounce your name, your company, and your job title. Sure, my name is Mick Baccio, uh, M-I-C-K, B is in boy, A-C-C-I-O. I work for Splunk, that's S-P-L-U-N-K, and I am a security advisor. Mick, you were the CISO for the Buttigieg campaign. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you did. So I was the CISO for Pete Buttigieg, Mayor Pete out of uh, South Bend, Indiana when he was running for president. So I was the first CISO on any presidential campaign. It was basically putting a security program, security culture, security awareness into a place where it had never been, it never existed. It's kind of akin, uh, if you are a small business startup, something like that, you're doing the same thing. And with a campaign, it's super weird and unique uh, just because the way campaigns are funded, it had been, it's unlike any environment I had been in. The budgeting is essentially month to month, rather quarter to quarter, or year to year, or something like that. Uh, so putting a, you know, all the, the nuts and bolts of a building block security program, kind of putting that in and making the trains go, and then creating an awareness program uh, to kind of make people buy on a security like you would anywhere else. So I think when you look at security, uh, you know, cybersecurity, whether you're, you're SMB or whether you're a startup, somewhere in the middle, I think the, the building blocks of security, kind of putting those in place are the same, no matter where you work, no matter what environment you're in. You're building a security program, uh, you know, whether it's your incident response life cycle, your um, remediation life cycle, all these different things that you, you put into consideration and you build that program out, kind of custom your environment. I think uh, a campaign and a, a small medium business or startup, something like that, they're, they're, they are very, very similar to a point. And then like any security program, you tailor it specifically to your vertical. And on a political campaign, you know, there's just some, some unique things that you have to look out there. But underneath all of it, the building blocks should be the same. I think, um, you know, having a good team, good program to, to try and get ahead of some of the new threats that are out there. And like you mentioned, ransomware has been around for a while. Uh, emerging threats that are coming around are kind of rehashes of the same. Uh, recently, you saw the DrovoRub, the Linux rootkit that was attributed to the GRU. You know, that maybe affected a dozen people, but at the same time, Linux rootkits are still a, a very, very, um, you know, common vector for, for cyber attacks and kind of those building blocks that you have in place, those basics kind of, you know, help you with those emerging threats. I think it's important to know if you're kind of figuring out what to do, what you can control and what you can't control. So on, as the CISO of a political campaign, I do the cyber bit of it, the, the disinformation, the discourse manipulation, whatever you want to call it, you know, that's not my wheelhouse. There's nothing I could do about that. Uh, but I think it's super important and supplies into to any uh, environment, you know, startup, small business, is that having those contacts, uh, having those partnerships with people that are responsible for them and kind of get ahead of those emerging threats as best you can. I think people want it to be spy stuff all the time. Like they want it to be APT, whatever you want to call it, fancy something. Um, but honestly, I, I think when you look at just business email compromise, generic ransomware, just uh, crime is, is the biggest thing more than, than any nation state activity. I think that is the biggest threat when you, when you look at any environment, just generic crimeware, business email compromise, things like that. Uh, I think that's the biggest threat that people still have. When I meet someone new coming into the industry or, or I have um, meetings with, with, with CISOs and hey, this is my experience, this is what I've done. I, I think the advice I try and give them is, is to have that solid foundation of your security program. I think doing the basics right help you kind of get to the next level. And all you're doing as a CISO, all you're doing at any security program is you're constantly raising the bar. You want your program to get better so you're 100% defended 100% of the time. And it's rare, you might never get there, but I think the journey along the way is the important thing. Um, I think communication is, is one of the big things I, I try and champion is being able to explain the cyber zeros and ones that no one really gets into a non-technical audience and, and make them understand, get them to understand that and buy into it. I think your communication takes you farther along 